Hey, what's up? Hello! We all know that song at the moment. It's stuck in my head. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So my name is Erin Scott and today I bring to you my monthly favourites for July. I'm going to try and do these continuously every month now, but we'll see how that goes. I'm just going to get started. I'm doing like a bit of a mixture of skincare, hair care and makeup. So if you would like to see what my favourites were, then just keep watching. So starting off with makeup, I am going to just start off with this bad boy. You've probably heard everyone raving about it and now you're going to sit here and listen to me rave about it as well This is amazing like seriously amazing just to point out I've actually never come across a L'Oreal foundation that I do not like but this one this just blew my mind So the coverage is high coverage. It is a matte formula and it sits beautifully on your skin. It just blends so flawlessly. It doesn't even feel like you would expect because it's high coverage that you'd be able to like feel it and it would kind of feel cakey on your face. No, not at all. This stuff is amazing. Like it's really, really lightweight. It's got high coverage. It says here the texture is medium. I would agree with that. Um, and the finish is definitely matte, shine control, all of that. I could wear this for, I have actually worn this for like a 12 hour day. And at the end of the day, my skin still looks flawless. No shine, no oily bits coming through, nothing. Like it is amazing. So. That is my absolute number one for July, for sure. Next thing is actually something I like to use in conjunction with my L'Oreal 24 hour matte foundation. And that is the Dr. Lewin's Eternal Youth Insta Perfector Blur Cream. You can use it as a primer or you can use it by itself. So I generally just use it as a primer underneath foundation. And it just helps to kind of blur and minimize your pores as well as kind of fill in any fine lines. And what I find it does is when you apply it to your skin, it kind of like tightens your skin, which sounds really really strange but and it does feel a bit weird but it's kind of tightening your pores and tightening the fine lines in your face to create like a really really smooth base for the foundation to go on to which is really really cool so I'm really liking that at the moment I think you can get it from Priceline don't quote me on that but um, yeah definitely check it out if you can next up is my absolute baby this is probably like the most high-end product that I've ever owned and it's my Soleil de Tan Chanel bronzer bronzing makeup base whatever you guys know what it is you've seen it everywhere it's literally amazing it's a cream to powder finish so um, it's really really natural I find like it doesn't cake on I've always had this idea in my mind that cream products look cakey I was wrong so wrong this is amazing it's just like it's so so nice I'm actually wearing it today I'm not sure if you can see properly but I've just got it on underneath here and it's just a really really natural beautiful bronzy glow like that's how it looks on your skin and yeah I'm really really impressed by it and definitely think it's worth the money like I know a lot of people say oh but it's so expensive it is so worth the money so go out and buy it you won't regret it so last up for the makeup products is this model co lash and line mascara and eyeliner in one the main reason I wanted to feature this is because I think it's actually a really really cool idea to put an eyeliner and a mascara in like one compact little tube together I think it's really great for traveling and I've never seen anything like it before which is really cool but the other reason is because I've actually trialed this out over the past week and I'm really impressed by it the eyeliner is a liquid eyeliner it's really easy to apply like the little brush on the end it's got such a fine tip which makes it really easy to be precise and like create a really precise wing um, which I think I mean I struggle to find liquid liners that actually give you like a tip that allows you to do that so I was really impressed when I saw that and the mascara I mean I wouldn't say I'm like overly amazed by it it's a standard formula mascara I use it under falsies so I can't really speak in terms of how it went by itself but in terms of removing it, it was really easy to remove and it lasted the whole day. So yeah, really impressed with this little thing. If you guys are traveling soon and you want to save some space, invest in this because it's such a great little idea. So next up, I'm moving on to skincare. And this is actually, I'm showing you all of the products that I'm using currently in my skincare routine. The reason I'm showing you all of them is because I have been so, so, so impressed with my skin recently. And it's all because of these products. They're all from different brands, which is really strange, but I've just found that they work really well together. So the first one that I'm going to show you is this Sukin Super Greens Detoxifying Facial Scrub. This 
is what I use in the mornings. I find that being like a facial scrub, it helps to wake up my skin and it wakes me up in the mornings. It's got a blend of kale, spirulina and parsley to promote a healthy glowing complexion while jojoba beads and bamboo gently exfoliate the skin. So being winter, my skin is quite dry. I just find that this gets rid of any of that dry skin in the mornings. The jojoba beads actually are quite moisturizing, so they add the hydration back into your skin. And yeah, overall, I just find it really, really nice to use first up in the morning. And then at night, I've been using this Nutria, I don't even know how to say that brand name. I've probably butchered it, but it's the Nutria Nourishing Cleansing Oil. So I use this at night. It's got rosehip oil, Sasha Inchi oil, and Kamu Kamu. What? Ever those last two are no idea but it's got rosehip oil in it and I love rosehip oil it's really really hydrating like I said before I get really dry skin in winter so putting this on at night um, overnight it kind of just restores my skin and puts all of that healthy um, moisture glow back into it which I really really like and this stuff smells amazing as well so after using both of those cleansers whether it be morning or night I go in with this alpha liquid gold this stuff is literally liquid gold like it has done amazing things for my skin so to apply it you just pop it on a little makeup pad and then you kind of just wipe it over your skin it says for an intense treatment just use that and that only after you cleanse don't put any serum or moisturizer on afterwards so I do that at night but in the morning I will put a little bit of moisturizer on and my eye cream which I'll get to in a sec so um, I've just found that this is so nourishing for the skin. Like, it's just given my skin such a healthy, radiant glow. Like, my pores have disappeared. My skin's just overall 10 times better than it's ever been. So, and I'm putting it down to this because I honestly can't think of anything else. Like, it's, it's amazing. I love it. So next up is my eye cream that I've been using recently. And it's the Benefit Cosmetics It's Potent Eye Cream. This is such a thick formula. A lot of people might not like it, but I actually love it. I really, like I said three times before, I have really dry skin. So a thick formula like this really gives my skin the moisture that it needs. The other thing is that you can actually use this as a bit of an eye mask. So what you can do is you can apply like a really thick layer underneath your eyes and leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then you kind of just wipe off the excess and it's really really hydrating and really great for your under eye area so really really loving this at the moment it's not a new product at all it's been around for ages but if you guys haven't tried it then I definitely recommend you should and then last but not least for my skincare I've been using this Restylane day cream it's got SPF 15 in it which is really really great obviously anything with SPF in it is good for your skin seriously it's so important but yeah I've just I mean I've been using this in my skincare routine it's a really lightweight moisturizer which is nice after I've used all of those other products and yeah I just find it keeps my skin really really hydrated for the rest of the day and yeah just in conjunction with all of those other products it works really well so I'm really happy with this as well so moving on to hair care now I just want to quickly show you this shampoo and conditioner that I've been using I got this in the Priceline Beauty Clip campaign thing that was going on and I started using them about maybe three weeks ago and my hair has been so soft and so nourished since I started using it. So it says here, drench and nourish every strand with this rich blend of vitamin B5 that speeds moisture to stressed locks. Rebuilds damaged lipids to improve ability to retain moisture while adding strength and elasticity to get your hair back to healthy. 100%. That's what it has done for me. Like, I don't know what else to say. That there is exactly what this shampoo and conditioner has done for me. So... I'm really, really impressed by it. It's lasting me ages as well. So I usually wash my hair about two to three times a week. And I mean, I don't know if you can see, but it's only down to there so far. So I'm getting a lot of uses out of it. Definitely love this at the moment. So once I jump out of the shower after my hair has been washed, I've been recently using this Schwarzkopf BB 11-in-1 Hair Beautifier. So it says on the back here that it's got 11 benefits in one step. And those 11 benefits are anti-breakage, split ends protection, silky softness, diamond shine, strength against damage, frizz control, immediate detangling, deep nourishment, natural volume, moisture sealing, and supreme repair. So basically they're saying that this has got in a tube for your hair, pretty much. I will say this has been really great for my hair. I only use it once a week. That's I don't find I need to use it any more than that. Once I'm out of the shower, I towel dry my hair, and I just run that through like the ends, and for the next four or five days my hair is silky smooth and it's got 
a beautiful shine to it. You can get this from Priceline. I'm not sure how much it is, but definitely check it out because it's done, like, it's been amazing with my hair. I've been using it for about two months now um, and been using it, like, every week for that two months. And, yeah, I'm loving it. Really, really happy with it. Next up is just a lip product, which is the Carmex Moisturizing Lip Balm. I've been using this for years. I've literally not come across any other lip product that does the same as this. I could pop this on at night just before I go to bed. I wake up in the morning eight hours later, and it's still on my lips. I can still feel it. Like, it's still there. Still on my lips, moisturizing my lips, keeping them nice and smooth and amazing like hello you can't get any better than that you've probably all heard of Carmex like who am I kidding but I just wanted to pop this in here because I'm really impressed by it and in these winter months obviously it's really really helpful so love you Carmex and last but not least it's actually a book it's the Lauren Conrad beauty book I purchased this maybe like a year and a half two years ago and I read it back then and I've just started reading it again just because why the hell not? But I just, I, I love this book. I love everything about it. It just reminds me that everyone is human. Like when Lauren's speaking about her beauty habits growing up and everything that she did and learnt as she was growing up about beauty, like we're all human. We all have bad phases. We all have bad hair days. We all have bad skin days. All of that, like it's, I just think it's really great to put everything back into perspective because life these days, like the media just hypes everything up so much and makes people have all of these ridiculously high expectations that can't be met but in this book she kind of just brings all of that back down to earth and I just find it really really great to read to bring me back down to earth as well and remind myself that I am human so if I wake up with a pimple so be it like embrace that pimple work that pimple whatever it is like this is just great for that so if you're looking for a bit of a pick-me-up and a bit of motivation when it comes to beauty and life definitely give this a read because I just yeah I love it and I I love her like hello oh look how beautiful she is it's not fair mm. I love you Lauren so that is all for today's beauty favorites of July I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you pick up any of the products that I've mentioned below or the book or whatever it might be um, and let me know what you think about it as well I'd really love to hear your guys feedback if you like this video please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you'd like to see me do next and yeah if you're new to my channel feel free to subscribe I would love that and I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye